and he will be in awe, saying oh. <laughs> and I will try to... <laughs> Let me just make him funny. In this Toon Me tutorial I will show you how to cartoon yourself and create a composition with cute doodles on the background. At the end of the video I will show you how to share them in a few different styles and cool ways. Before we begin you can download all tutorial files on the link in the video description free of charge. If you like my YouTube videos and want to see more, please visit my Patreon page, where I share in-depth tutorials and exclusive brush sets. It's also linked below the video. Now if you are ready, let's get started! I will import a Procreate file that is included in the tutorial bundle. It has 12 doodle characters that I drew beforehand. All of them are just made-up creatures, like this crazy cucumber or happy ghost. Generally, for doodles you can pick a certain topic and draw according to that. Can be food, fruits or vegetables, buildings, animals, cute monsters or whatever. In short, doodles are very cute characters with a wide range of emotions. They can be happy, surprised, angry or excited. As an example, I will show you how to draw one more doodle and if you like you can repeat after me and draw it exactly the same. Or you can go with your own topic. Just as an idea, it can be music or traveling. So here comes the first chapter of today's tutorial, that is doodling. To draw the last character, let me create a new layer on top of all layers. And I will call it bread. I just want to draw something simple and cute. Then I will select red color number 10 and pick a sketching brush. I want to use 6B pencil, but before that change a couple of settings, to make it more comfortable to use and more predictable. First I will go to stabilization and increase the amount of streamline. Just a little bit. Let it be 25%. Then in Apple Pencil, I will scroll down and in the tilt remove all the settings, including opacity, gradation, bleed and size. This way it won't change depending on the tilt. It will be easier to use. Let's set the brush size to 35% and draw a simple shape. It will consist of two arcs. The first one will go up, like this. And I will draw another one at the bottom, but it will be smaller. We just need to connect it in the corners, because later we will need to fill it. Now I will draw two circles for the eyes and make them rather big. This way the character will look cute. I will draw them approximately in the middle. The first one and then the other one on the right. Try to make it the same size. In the end I will draw a big mouth between the eyes. First draw a line here and then another big arc to make it look happy. And since the mouth is wide open, we can see the tongue. I will draw a line inside the mouth. This way. To make it look a little better, let's add light reflections in the eyes. Just as tiny ovals. And now it is ready. Of course you can draw the eyes and other facial features in your own way. Now that we drew a doodle, you can go ahead and draw your own doodles, each on a new layer. Or you can use the ones we have here. We will create a composition with them and we can start that by coloring all characters into the same color. Let's go with color 22. And I will fill it like this. Then go to the next layer and do the same. Since we used 6B pencil for drawing, you may need to slide to the left to adjust color draw threshold. So the brush will work. If it still doesn't work, please check if you have some gaps and fix them. I will do it very fast, so you can pause and do it on your own. Make sure you fill in every big part in the doodles, including the arms and eyes of each character. We need to do that to avoid multiple confusing intersections between the layers and to see the position of each character, if it's behind or on the front. Now we have them all colored, and finally we can insert our model. I will insert me. 
Let me place the photo under all layers with doodles. And after that I will create a new layer above all. This is where we will create the first outlines and thus determine the space for doodles. I want to use color number 4 from the palette, because it is kinda matching with my hair. And it will also transition into the outlines, will look cool I think. To see the lines better, I will lower the opacity of the photo. Can be set to around 70% or so. Let me go back to the new layer. And then pick a brush. I think perfect brush for outlines is monoline from calligraphy. We just need to make a few adjustments. I added a few values in the streamline, stabilization and motion filtering. Also in properties, let's set minimum size to none. To get thin and smooth lines. Now we need to select the brush size. When creating the outlines on your drawing, I would recommend you to use maximum two values for the thickness. For example, can be one thickness for the outer lines and another one for inner lines. It will make your drawing look more professional. Or you can simply use constant thickness for the entire drawing. Right now I will start outlining myself. On the edge. Go down. And it is better if you do it without lifting the pencil up. So the line doesn't break. Let me go to the opposite side. And I think this time I'm lucky, because my hair is curly and smooth. I think I had a lot of hairspray on it, so it is easy to outline. I will just make something cool here, and then go down on the shoulder. For now I'm not going inside. Just the outer lines. Finishing the arm. And I also have a few objects on the right. For example, this cube. So I will also outline it and use it as a starting point for the doodle. You can draw whatever you want. According to your photo. It will go down. Then to the left. And then draw the floor. Which is also divided into two shapes. So I'm just drawing these lines. Ok, this part is finished. Let's start working on our background composition with the doodles. Before we start putting all the doodles together, let me fill some outline shapes. And to keep the outline separately, I will set this layer as reference. After that create another one below. Now if we start dragging the colors inside the shapes, they will be filled. Due to the reference feature. Let me also fill this one and one here. Now I will be placing the doodles one by one, also transforming them and rotating. Let me drag this one upper in the layers, because I want to put it on the box. I will rotate it slightly and drag it down like this. Here is the toaster. I will also scale it and rotate like this. I will put it here. Let's just make sure that facial features of the doodles are not covered by any other objects. So I will put it here. Maybe scale a little. Then I have a bear. That will go down to the side. I will put it behind this box. Let me rotate it a little more. And put it somewhere here. Then there is a cute ghost here. That I will also rotate. And since all these objects are filled, you don't have these messy lines and a lot of intersections. That could be confusing. I think this way it is easier. I will just also scale it and put it here with another angle. It is ok if there are some gaps 
between the shapes. We will fill them later. Ok, let me move it more. And now that's better. Let's see where we can put this worm. I think behind the toaster. I will make it a bit smaller and rotate it even more. Somewhere here. Then I have a small cloud that I will make even smaller and put it behind the ghost. Let me make it almost vertical. Alright. I will continue and put this cute seal somewhere. I think he may touch my hair with his cute paws. So I will also rotate it and move a little down. Something like this. I have this cool curve here that will go upper because we need to fill the remaining space and I don't have too many doodles left. So I need to think about the space carefully. I will put it somewhere here. Maybe make it bigger. Or maybe change the angle. Ok. I think this is fine now. And now I will work with my favorite cucumber. I think here is the best place for him. I will just make sure we can see all the eyes. And also his arm. So I will just finish placing this cutie. All we need to do is try to keep them same size. But maybe some can be a bit smaller or bigger. Ok, it's here. Then a big cloud that I will put in this big space. Just rotate it and try to find the best position. Alright. The candy will go up. I'll just make it smaller and rotate a little, like this. Here comes the last image with potato. And I will put it here in the corner. Also rotate it a little and make it a bit smaller. To fill some bigger spaces, we can draw smaller shapes. So let me make a new layer. We can use the previous color that was red. And use any brush. I will just draw something looking like a bush. Very simple. Then connect it. Maybe draw another shape inside. Pick this light color. We just need to remove the reference feature. And fill it as well. So it fills correctly. Ok, let's draw something similar here maybe. I will also fill it. And another shape between these two. In this cartoon style. Let me connect it. Add another shape. And then also fill. I think it will be enough. Now that we have this skeleton, let's outline all the lines that we see. On a new layer. I will create it right under the outlines. And select fourth color together with monoline. Start outlining it. This time we need to make it clean. If it's a straight line, it needs to be straight. And also smooth ovals. Just go around it. Let me outline this one. And then only the visible part. All the lines. To make a perfect circle, I will tap here too. I will now outline it all on the right side of the model. 
I will fast forward this part, since they are all repeating steps. Make sure your lines are clean and there are no gaps between them. You can pause and finish the outlines. And in the next part of the tutorial, we will start coloring. Now that the outlining part is finished, we can erase the unnecessary lines and then start coloring the doodles. Let's now go to the layer with the first outline and erase a few intersections. I will also remove it here. And on the box. You can erase it or use selection and then remove. Whichever method you prefer. Now after we did that, we can start coloring. But first I will merge these two layers with the outlines and set it as reference. Then I will make a new layer under it and what I'm going to do next is just pick colors and drag them inside the shape, starting with the candy. Then I will color this character into red and I'm not coloring the eyes yet. So let me go down. The toaster will get purple, I think. Then I will make bread light orange. I'll go ahead and color all remaining shapes quickly. You can go with the colors of your choice or pick the same colors as mine. I selected light and dark blue for the two sides of the snake. All other doodles are in one color. After the coloring is finished, we can make these layers invisible. and paint the small details. I think we can even do it on another layer. I will create it below this one. Pick base color that we used on the outlines and start filling the eyes first. I will just drag it inside one of the shapes, then tap here to continue with recoloring. Then we can simply tap inside the circles. It's just a very easy and fast way. I will also paint the dark part of the mouth. And these circles. Also this. Let me have a look at it. And now we can change the color. For example, here we can paint this into white. From the color disk. I will just drag it here, then we can make it purple, doesn't have to be red. So I will pick it from here and paint, but this one I will make red, maybe this color, very cute. Alright, let me also paint this part and the teeth using white. I will just recolor this one. And to make them more alive, let's add these light reflections. So I will switch to white color again. We can stay on the same layer. Oops, I forgot to paint this on this cute guy. Okay. And now since we have white color, Let's add the light reflections. I will just increase brush size. So we can do it in one stroke. Just step inside the eyes. We may need to adjust the size to work on smaller shapes. Because it's not the same always. I will tap here. And on each character. A few more. And in the end I will add a couple of more details. Because they look like naked. So let me go back to this color number 4. Then to the layer with the outlines and lower the brush size. 
remember that we still have mono line. But I will set the size to 8%. Just add in some hatch or details, circles, whatever shapes you like. This one will have some hair maybe. Or it may look like scales. Something very cute. Can be just lines. I think I will add some hair to this guy. Just fill it. And cute eyebrows. We don't have to add these details to every character. Just to some of them. I will add some spots here. Just a few of them. Also some hatch inside bear's ears. And on his cheeks. I think these things are called patches, like for beauty. Let our ghost be beautiful. So I will just paint it. Okay. Some hedge to the cucumber. And maybe that's it. They already look better. In the next step, I'd like to fill in the gaps between the doodles. And I will create another layer for that. Right under the outlines. I want to pick this color. And just drag it on this area. Then we can continue with the recolor. Just put the cross here. And continue tapping. To fill them all. And after we did that, let's deselect it and add some cute patterns. For example, for this one I will pick light yellow from the cloud. And also pick technical pen from Inkin. Its size is set to 24%. And I will just draw these random things. Go into different sides. Actually, you can draw whatever here, or use a pattern brush if you like. They may go in different directions, also with different angles, and look as curves. Let me draw one here. If you are using a pattern brush, I think it would be nice if you put this layer under the doodles. For this one I will pick red color. And draw random arcs. Just like this. They may look as scales. I will do it faster. And now it is ready. Let's go down. And I have a gap here. So let me pick some green color or maybe light blue from the cloud. I will change the brush to monoline and draw stripes here. Something like this. On this side I will draw stripes too, but change the color into red again. You can actually use any colors you like and do it in your own way. Alright, this one is also done. Let's go down and fill it here. I want to use this light orange and draw tiny circles that will look as polka dots. Alright, I have only some space left here, so I will grab light yellow color again and maybe draw a pattern of triangles that will go like this. A few more. And now it's perfectly fine. We can start working on the person. I will select the outlines color and go to the layer that is set to reference. It's the one with outlines. We have monoline selected. We just need to pick the brush size. 8% will work. It's the one we used on the details. So it needs to match. 
I will start outlining the facial features, my glasses, earrings and all I can see. Let me start with the glasses. I will outline them carefully at the lower edge and also at the bottom. First creating the outer line. I will make it a bit wider and connect. Then outline it inside. We can divide it here. Outline the small part and finish the circle. Then outline the other one. Also connect it. And draw this part. Alright, then I will outline the eyebrows. To create the shape first. It goes this way. And then I will draw the other one. I will outline the nostrils. Darken this part a little bit. And the other one as well. On the right side. And maybe add some details. Maybe a line for the shadow. Now I will work on the lips. Also outline them. And at the bottom I will skip some distance. To draw the lower lip. It will look like this. Maybe add some shadow. I will add some more details. Inside the ear. Just draw it schematically. With a few curves. Then also the earring. And the face. All lines need to be connected. It will go upper. And then I will work on the hair. We can add some curves here. Like it doesn't have to be perfectly straight. I will add some triangles. Then continue from the glasses. It goes down this way. And finish in the ear. I think we can also finish the eyes. I will just outline it. And add simple lashes. Maybe these tiny wrinkles. Also a few lashes here. Draw the lower line. But I'm not connecting it. It'll look better this way. Let me actually outline the irises as well. Just draw these ovals. And this one. Alright, let's go down. And I will outline the shirt. And I will finish the hair. Just make it simple. And also on this side. Just draw bigger curves. We can already fill the hair. And continue adding the details on the shirt. I will outline the collar. And all the small folds. And also bigger ones. And if you are working on your own picture, you should do it this way. Later we will add volume to them. For now it only needs outlines. 
let me outline it here the sleeves and the arms actually everything so later we will need only to add the colors I will go to the left side draw a few here and connect it to this part I'm adding these lines to add some volume then I will draw a big line here maybe make it dashed a little I think it's better this way and finish it on this side then also outline the jeans with all the small details some lines can be dashed here as well and it is enough let me have a look at it just a few more and now it is okay now we can color these parts as well I want to make the eyebrows same color as the hair so I will just fill them on the same layer then grab a razor and also set it to monoline I will erase a few hairs in the beginning with a small size it can be set to 5% then it will change the angle like this also on the other one here is a couple of hairs if you like you can also make it different okay now let me create a new layer under the outlines and I want to fill different parts on different layers starting with the skin let me use color number one for that I will drag it here and inside the glasses also on the arms and other visible parts for the jeans I will create a new layer just to recolor it later in case I change my mind for now I want to use red but actually colors don't have to match you can pick any for the short I want to select yellow from the character also create a new layer and start filling it it may be divided into a few parts by the lines so I will make sure to color them all the last one and now it is also ready let me finish the face I will pick white color to color the earring and also the glasses I think we can add some tiny details so let me pick dark color go back to the outlines and with a smaller size I will draw these tiny details now I will go back to the previous layer or maybe even to this one with the skin pick white color again and fill the glasses we can paint these two parts into gray to show that they're in shadow I think can be light blue as well for example number eight I will fill this part and this one inside okay this is also ready let me paint the lips for the upper lip I will pick color number 12 because usually upper lips are darker I will just outline it using freehand selection the selection will be under the outlines so it will be fine I will just connect it and click color fill then I will change the color into number 2 from the palette and outline the second lip 
If you are drawing a man, I would recommend you to keep the lower lip skin color and make the upper lip slightly darker. It will look natural. For a woman you can draw any color of the lipstick. Like this. This one is also ready. Let me finish the eyes. So I will pick white color first. Create a layer above this one maybe. And also outline the eyes. Fill this one. And then the second eye. Like this. I just need to paint the irises and the pupils. I don't want to use my natural color, which is grayish or greenish. I want to make it bright green. So I'm using number 3. I will create a new layer above the white part of the eyes and fill the irises. If you want to recolor the outlines as well, we can do this. Go to the layer with the outlines and alpha lock it. Then just paint it using the brush. Like this. We can keep a tiny border or paint it all. It's also up to you. I will paint it this way, both irises. Then pick dark color and draw two ovals inside for the pupils. I will just go back to the lay with the green color. We can even merge these two to reduce the number of layers. I think I will make them black. Will be better. Painting the first one. We can edit the shape. Change the angle a little. And draw the second one. After that I will pick white color to draw light reflections inside the eyes. I am looking up, so I will draw them at the bottom of the irises. The coloring part is over, we can proceed to shading. I will be using one of my favorite techniques. To do that, I will create the layer under the outlines and set it to soft light blend mode. For the shadows, I am going to use black color. So I will go to the color disk and double tap at the bottom to select it. In recent brushes we can pick technical pen and make the size bigger. It's nice to use your photo as the reference or you can just determine the direction of the light and put shadows according to that. I will put it here under the hair. The size can be a little bit bigger. It will go down on the side, also on the ear, inside it. at the bottom of the head, here on the chin and on the neck as well. It's a cast shadow. I will also add the shadows here inside the glasses, under the eye, also on this side and under it. Let me put a shadow on the nose, on this part of it, it's normally in shadow, and also under the lip, this way. Then I will go down and add a shadow on the neck on the left side, here under the hair, and on this part. Let me also add it on the arms, at the bottom of this one, and also here, just a line. Also on the jeans, like on this part, 
then this one is in shadow and just draw a few more lines on the folds all right let me now continue adding the shadows by looking at the reference then we go along the folds as triangles or as lines but I won't draw them on every line just a few for example this part then also here and a couple more on this part and on the short here then I will go to this one and continue shading exactly the same way I'm not using clipping mask or alpha lock here so I will try to be careful and not damage the arm I will go up on the lines then shade this part also here another one and on the side this part is also in shadow and maybe I will outline this line on the sleeve just a little bit it in a cast shadow here and maybe a couple more another big one and the shadow that comes from the hair on this side as well I think now it's fine and I will start adding highlights by switching to white color I will put it here then highlight the part of the nose this area above the lips and we can also highlight some folds like this one another one and a few more this way we will add some volume even though it is a flat illustration just a few more here and I will also highlight the arms on the opposite sides from the shadows so I will draw a line here for the highlight and then another one I'll just add another highlight here on the face starting from the eye and going down along the edge and after that I want to add a couple more details before drawing the hair maybe you noticed that I have a lot of birthmarks so I will add a few let me grab this dark color go to the layer with the outlines I unlocked it and I will just add a few small spots I will just make the size smaller and add them here and there also on the same layer we can add some hedge on the dark parts here monoline brush or technical pen can be used just pick the one you prefer I will add another detail here on the jeans and that's it before I forget I will paint this small gap into this light color okay and after that I will go back to white color and highlight some hair strands so we need to create a layer above all layers and I will also set it to soft light to draw hair I like to use another brush from inking it's called Inca here we can also use reference or draw it according to the direction of the hair I will just make the size smaller here at around 7% and start drawing these lines some of them can be longer 
and I will also add some volume. So applying low pressure, I will draw thinner lines between the hair strands. Here I will draw another one and it will go to the right. Then I will press more here for a brighter highlight and add thinner lines as well. Continue going down this way. A few bigger strands. If you want to get smooth lines, there is a way to increase the amount of streamline in stabilization settings. I will also add some pressure and amount of stabilization. I think now it will work better. Let me try again. Then it changes the direction. I will add a few more here for this one. And then finish it. Here at the bottom they may intersect on some points. Like this way. Then I will also add some smaller strands with low pressure. And the hair is almost ready. Okay. I think it will be enough. I will just fix it here. Just maybe add a few more lines for the highlight and go to the left. Draw even more hairs. Some of them will be bigger. And between these ones I will add smaller. Also go down. Just a few more. And now the hair is also ready. We can play around with blending molds. Maybe the other one will work better. Let me try. I think this one makes it too red. If we actually keep it in normal, but reduce the opacity, I think it will work the best. I will keep the opacity at 42%. And now it is totally ready. Let's shade the doodles quickly. We can actually continue working on the same layer where we had the shadows and highlights. And also start with the shadows. So I picked black color again, but I want to try another brush. It will be one from calligraphy. It's called shale, but before using it, I will go to Apple Pencil and here remove all the settings for the tilt. I just don't like how it works. Now it will be much easier to use. If you want to go back to the default settings, you can just reset. For this brush I will set the size to 42%. It has a very nice soft texture. So with black color I will apply it on the right side of each character and also follow their shapes. Making arcs like this. On the arm here, then also on this part and at the bottom here. So I will apply to every character and their body parts. On the cloud. We can use a razor here if we accidentally touch another character. Let me do it faster. And also on the small green parts that we added as fillers. This cloud. And finally the bear. Now for the highlights, I will change the color into white and add the highlights quickly on the opposite side of each character.
on top of this one, also on the green part, on this potato. The brush is still pressure sensitive, so be careful when pressing on it. It may go slightly outside the outlines. This cute ghost, then a toaster, bread, and the bear. Just final check here, and I think it is also done. Now that you learned the entire process, you can fill the remaining space with more doodle characters. Or I will show you a few more ways to present this type of design. This is what I will do. I will go to the layer with the outlines and using freehand selection, outline it this way. Connect it. Make sure there is no color fill option. And then I will copy and paste this part. After that I will drag it down in the layers and put it right above this part. After that we can flip it horizontal and move it to the left. I will resize it a little, put it slightly down and after that invert it, so it will get lighter. If there is still some space left, we can simply pick the color from here and fill it using monoline. Just make the size bigger. I will draw the stripes, or it can be any pattern, like this. So this is the first option. Another way to present it is to do this. We can drag the photo up in the layers and put it on top. Set its opacity to max. Go to the layer and grab a razor. I will set it as medium hard airbrush from airbrush and section. And the size is at maximum as well. Let's reveal the cartoon part by drawing a snake like this. I think it would make a cool reels. Or you can pick a bigger brush, let's say soft brush from the same set, and reveal the entire drawing. Will also look great, I think. But in the end, I'd like to show you one more option. First, I will create a layer above this one, use the selected color, and monoline. Let me just set the size to 12%, and I will divide the photo into two halves to keep one of them as cartoon and the other one as a photo. So I will start drawing a line from top. I will make it curvy. Go down. Then go to the photo and click on selection. I will try to outline the right half using freehand. Just follow the line. It will be very easy. If you like, you can make this line even thicker. I will just finish the outlines on the right side. Tap here. Let's make sure that color fill is turned off, then swipe three fingers down and click cut. After that, I will just invert the line. To make it same color as the outlines on the doodles. You can keep it like this or do the following. Let's go to the layer with the image and remove background from it using any type of selection. That will work in your case. I will use automatic and just cut it. To make the edge softer, we can use Gaussian Blur, but with pencil. Medium hard airbrush is selected and I will slide to the left to set Gaussian Blur to run 20% first. 
Then make a stroke with a brush around the edge. After that we can adjust the amount by sliding to the sides. To finish it, you can paint some pattern here and remove the outlines. Let me know which version you like the most. I will keep it like this. And also in the end, you can play around with colors. If you want to make your drawing look cool, you can try to change skin color. For example, by changing the hue. It will change together with the lips, because we have them on one layer. But if you want to change the lips color separately, you can select them first and then play around with different settings. You can also do the same with other parts. Try different combinations. At this point the drawing is complete. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. You can also access tens of other tutorials on my Patreon. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.